Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul Neal, as always, and I'm here to give my reaction to the under-21 squad that Stephen Kenny has announced uh, to face Armenia and Sweden. Um, well, in gold, you have, obviously, Cuivin Kelleher from Liverpool and you have Gavin Bazunu, two of Ireland's most promising goalkeepers coming through the ranks. I think uh, Mick McCarthy seems to favour Kieran Hara a little bit ahead of them. So it kind of makes sense to have those two guys coming in. Kelleher played in the... Uh, too long tournament and done very well. Still hovering in and around that Liverpool squad. Uh, went away, you know, um, in the summer with the Liverpool squad. And obviously, he was part of the squad, Champions League squad as well. Then Gavin Bazunu, who was in and around the Man City squad, and he's been playing for their under twenty three team as well. He was in the their squad in the summer there on their uh, summer tour in the states, and you know he, he seems to be progressing quite nicely. And again, he was the, the goalkeeper for the under 17s in the Euros in Dublin, but, um, unfortunately injuries and that played a part. So he didn't get to have that much of a tournament. But, um, then defenders, you have Danny McNamara, who's at Newport on loan from Aston Villa. Don't really know too much about him. You have Leo Connor then, who was fantastic for our under 19s in their European championships as well in Armenia. He was playing centre mid. He normally plays right back. Uh, quality player seems to be really thriving now and uh, be interested to see what happens to him now over the next kind of few months but um just in regards i think he's going to be a crucial player for stephen kenny and uh yeah he's, he's he deserves his place in that team then you have dara o'shea who has been getting in and around the west brom squad slavin billet seems to be a real big fan of his and you know he made a senior debut this season already so he's coming along quite nice he's been on the bench quite a bit for them as well so it's great to see these types of players that are getting chances in the championship and now they're being reaping the rewards obviously he played in the Toulon tournament with the uh, Connor Masterson who's also in the squad now and Darren Leahy from Bohemian so Connor Masterson's now playing with QPR and uh, Nathan Collins who actually was I actually tipped that would probably go into the McCarthy squad but it makes sense um he's captain of Stoke at the moment and um I think it makes sense just to leave him in the under-21s for the moment and maybe the next kind of few months see how he progresses and then, you know, if he's doing well, why not uh, bump him up to the senior team, which I think will happen, um, if not by the end of the season this year. Uh, then uh, Liam Scales off UCD, who is just kind of been unfortunate that the better players around him have left the club and... Ultimately, it, it shows how much faith that uh, Stephen Kenny has in him. So, he's in there on merit as well. So, it's it's nice to see him getting uh, getting in and around that squad as well. Then you have Jason Malumbi on loan at Millwall from Brighton. And he played last night for uh, Millwall as they lost on penalties to Oxford. Uh, Jason Knight, who's been getting game time with Derby County. And obviously started his first championship game there the other day against West Brom and done very well Connor Coventry again played last night for West Ham um, obviously played in the under 21 tournament as well the Toulon tournament and was very good Jake Doyle Hayes who's at, at Cheltenham Town alone from Aston Villa I don't I haven't seen too much of him all I know is he's a great passer of a ball from what I've seen online um, then you have Jack Taylor at Barnet who I don't know a whole lot of Dan Mandreo from Bohemians which is great to see him in there uh, I think he's an absolutely fantastic player. He's one of those players who can just switch it a game on its head. I'm sitting here in the Shelburne top and, you know, everyone knows what he did to Shelburne there a couple of weeks ago when they were 2-0 down. And um, he got the last two goals then to win the game for balls to win 3-2 in injury time. But um, absolute class player, can score from anywhere, either foot as Rovers fans will know from this season as well. Uh, Gavin Kilkenny, who's impressed a lot during pre-season there with Bournemouth. I think he played against Leon and had a man in a match performance. Might have got a goal as well, I'm not too sure on that, but um, he definitely played against them and got man of the match and people were raving about him, so that's good to see. And then you have Zach Albazetti, who is at Waterford, had a really good Toulon tournament as well. The injuries hampered him and I haven't heard too much of him since he got injured from them but um absolute class player when he's on it and you know I, I I'm surprised that he's still at Waterford if I'm honest I think if he was fit he probably would have left them by now and then the forward line is probably the most exciting of the lot uh, you have Adam Ida at Norwich who played his first game for Norwich and senior team last night they lost to Crowley Town Crowley Town sorry um 
Jonathan Afalavi, who just joined Celtic and was unbelievable for the Ireland under 19s in Armenia as well. And, you know, he has moved to Celtic there. He was a free agent for a while. Took his time to pick his move, and I think he's made the, probably the best choice in terms of allowing him to develop and do well there. Um, he was one of the players of the tournament for the whole tournament itself. So, um, great to see him as well getting recognised for that. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can start doing stuff at Celtic, get fighting in. I know he's training in around the first team. He's kind of been signed to play in the development team, but hopefully he can break through in there. Hopefully he does well for the under-21s, so. uh, though. Aaron Connolly scored last night as well for Brighton. Um, won the game for them, actually, uh, in the Carabao Cup. So uh, it's great to see him off the mark as well. Obviously, he had a, a fairly decent two-long tournament as well. He scored the first game against China, and uh, it was a real handful I didn't, don't think he scored again after that, but he looks a quality player. And, uh, you know, people are raving about him and want to see him in the Brighton first team, which I don't think is too far away. Michael Obafemi, again, another player scored last night, the winning team for his, uh, or the winning goal for his team, sorry, with Southampton. He seemed to go off with a cramp, apparently. I thought it was a hamstring injury, but he's gone off with a cramp. So hopefully he's okay. I mean, these guys are going to be playing in Tala next week. You know, I think the tickets are six euro or something, and if you're a student or an OIP, I think it's two euro, and if you have a season ticket, it's free. And so it it'd be absolute madness if you're under sixteen, it's free as well. It's absolute madness if you don't go. And then I suppose that everyone's favourite at the moment, and uh, you know a lot of hype around him is Troy Parrott. He's in that squad as well. So none of these guys are getting into Mick McCarthy's team. Maybe if they do well for the under twenty ones, they might get bumped up like Ronan Curtis did uh, last year and uh, come in maybe for the Bulgaria game. But I don't see any of them really coming in for the Switzerland game. And, you know, I think everyone's really excited to see Troy Power. I've actually never seen him live, so I'll be very excited to see him. I know the majority of you guys will, but there's other players on that list that I'm really looking forward to actually seeing uh, in in the flesh. And, uh, you know, these this is a real golden generation type of squad, you know. It's not just, a, you know, I'm looking at the names here and... Wow, like some some of the players there could go on and do really well. I'm not putting pressure on anyone there, but I just think we've got a really good crop of good young players coming through, and it's great to see. So, and I think the fact that Kenny is there to kind of bleed them in as well, he gets a good mixture of League of Ireland, Championship, and a bit of Premier League in there as well. So, you know, hats off to the lads, um, and hats off to Stephen Kenny. So hopefully he can start getting some good results, and we see how things go in that regard. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you happy to see these guys in the under-21s? Would you rather see them in the senior squad? Uh, or are you, like me, you're pretty much in, a, in agreement that you know you can see why they've been picked for the under-21s. But are you going to go to the game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll speak to you all soon. All right, thanks for watching.